Sports. It's in the game. is broken never stop and never slow yeah we're living wide open unwinding every moment like the clock is broken never stop and never slow yeah we're living wide Everybody, I'm Larry Ridley. You're tuned into the NFL on EA Sports. A pair of tight ends will be on the field today looking to do whatever it takes to give their team an advantage. It's Cook's Packers going up against Walker's Titans. With that, I'll hand it over to the two men who'll be calling our games all season long as I'm pleased to welcome our new commentary team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Larry, thank you for the introduction as we are about set for football here on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Green Bay Packers and the Tennessee Titans. Hello again, everybody. I'm Brandon Gunn here in the booth with, as always, Charles Davis. Charles, a lot of times in the open, we focus on quarterbacks, running backs. What about the tight ends in this one? Well, I think LR identified it really well because the tight ends are matchup nightmares nowadays. Who are you going to cover them with? Because really, they are pumped up wide receivers who can flat out run and use their body to create bigger plays. Cover them with a linebacker, cover them with a defensive back. Either way, they feel like they have the advantage. Ryan Suckup, the man tasked with getting this one started. And off we go from Nashville. Fielded about a yard deep. What a spin. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. here on first down and his first pass is incomplete offense looking to avoid a third and long it's second and ten the first carry now this is Lacey it's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. And he finds Cook. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Oh, 
to the offense lining up first and ten. First and ten, here's Rodgers. Over the middle, it's Jared Cook. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up the defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Rodgers to throw on second down. He completes it to Jordy Nelson. And he's brought down. 15 yards through the air and a first down. And Nelson did not play in their first preseason game. He's had some issues with the tendonitis in the knee. I think they're going to be very careful because the ACL that he tore last year was in his right knee. The tendonitis is in his left knee. Maybe he's overcompensating a little bit. They want to make sure they get back all of Jordy Nelson and that terrific speed. Rodgers now on first down. And Cook has it, left side. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll make it a second down. All right, I'm doing my rudimentary math here. That's his third catch here in the first quarter. I don't know if it's just game plan, or he's just finding his way open. And maybe a little of both. They go play action for Lacey. Now Rodgers. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Clock running under a minute to go in a scoreless first quarter. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. And try to get it to his tight end, Rodgers, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Brandon, this is why golfers do their best to never count a score in their head before the ball goes in the cup. This looked like a slam dunk for points on this drive, didn't it? Instead, they throw an interception, and they're going to come away empty. Now here's the first carry for DeMarco Murray. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 11, he goes down. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. And frankly, Brandon, we're talking about things I'm not sure we ever thought we'd talk about in the NFL, and a lot of that is the speed at the linebacker position. A lot of these guys in college, they were safeties. They moved them up to outside linebacker to combat the spread offenses, and now we're seeing it in the NFL, those same guys using their speed to make plays in the backfield, similar to that one. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it, trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Yeah, they've got an extra defensive back out there now on third and 13. Mariota to throw it. Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. So not much to speak of scoring-wise in this first quarter of play. It's a tight game here early. With the former volunteer Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. It's the Titans with a football here to begin quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. He'll send this up into the Nashville skyline, and it's a good one. On the return, it's high. <laughs> Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 12.
And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Looked like they had something going last drive. Then the interception happened. Will they recover? The memory they need to keep with them is that they did have something going. They were moving the ball on offense, had a nice sequence going. Don't worry about the other part. You can't get that back. Let's go back to what you were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part, forget the bad. I like that even better. <laughs> throwing on second down. This is Cobb with a catch right side. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. He got 18 yards out of that one and it gets him a new set of downs. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit, but how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play and sometimes it can break big. Rodgers now on first down. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Well, we're not playing three yards in the cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old-school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football, and you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. They'll come out in the pistol. Rodgers again here on second and ten. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. And it'll be third and ten now. James starts. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Now that was a gutsy call. In today's NFL, that is a passing down, but they broke tendency and in a big way, and they were rewarded with a big run. Now they're set up with first and goal. Got to give a lot of credit to the offensive coordinator. He didn't play it safe, took a chance, and it paid off. They'll run it with Lacey. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Partner wins of the second quarter, and I guess you can kind of look at it both ways. The offense, they've got to figure out what they're going to do because they haven't scored any points. But if you're the defense, you're feeling great about what you've got going on. The only concern you have, if you get to the half, what adjustments will the offense make to try to defeat you? Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. Rodgers with a keeper. They give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. Hey, give him credit. That's a good solid game there on the sneak because it all comes together. Enough space, get forward, gain yardage. Well done. This defense hasn't let him in yet. They'll need to stiffen here. Third and goal for the two. Two minutes remain in a scoreless first half. Back to Tennessee after this. They come out here in the eye. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Aaron Rodgers scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Packers have taken the lead. Partner, that was simply an example of getting low, wasn't it? It was indeed. And for the quarterback, so they get low the line. They did their job. Is the quarterback's job just to find a crease and dive? Find a crease and just get in there. Ordinarily, you start low yourself, get low behind that offensive line. But sometimes they do such a great job, you can almost fall forward and find the crease for a touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. Antonio Andrews now to return. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. And here 
here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guys are a little bit yeah, jumpy. Yeah, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same thing. Just like us <laughs> calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and out. And have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On first down, Murray. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, 2016 in Tennessee, DeMarco Murray. We're going to find out if it was style, scheme. Does he still have it or not? He thinks he's going to be more comfortable with the Titans. Yeah, because that fall off last year, 2014, over 1,800 yards, 392 carries. One of the best seasons running the football that we've seen in recent years. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. Seven yards on the play, and that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Well, there's another example of what Marcus Mariota brings to the game. Sweet feet that elude sticky situations. He knows how to get outside the pocket and get downfield. Last year as a rookie, he showed us exactly how to do it and do it well. They'll run here. It's Murray. He gets seven out of it, and he also gets a first. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Mariota on first down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll bring up a second down. And quickly, they get to the line. Now a second down throw for Mariota. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. A really nice gain of 25 yards. throw for Mariota. Buying time to his left. And that is caught. But he will come down out of bounds says the side judge incomplete. It certainly appeared like they had a great chance of that turning into a touchdown but maybe led him just a bit too much. Yeah, out of the back of the end zone. That's tough on a five-yard pass but one of that distance. That can be tough to gauge when you're the back of the end zone. Second down, Mariota again. And oh, not only did he drop it, he dropped it in the end zone. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big time drop. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need 10 yards out of it on third. On third down, Mariota. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gaud alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. Offense.
still fourth down. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. A 33-yarder from the left hash. And Suckup will put this one right through. And they are on the board, trailing now at six to three. So they're still down, but they are able to salvage three here heading into the lockers. This is what you work on from the beginning of training camp. Heading into the half, put some points on the board. No matter what the score says at that point, you've accomplished what you set out to do. And this one's going to be covered up by the Packers' hands team. So we come upon halftime, 6-3. And never mind, Larry. These two teams apparently anxious to get back at it. So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here's the Titan offense now as they make their way back onto the field. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Second down, Mariota. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Whenever I see a drop like that, I have to kind of take a step back and check myself a little bit. So used to seeing those big guys make big-time, spectacular plays that when they drop one, I have to remind myself, we ask a lot out of these guys. Block and catch the football, not easily done in today's NFL. Mariota from the gun on third down. Flush to his right. And underneath here to McCluster. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. That's the type of play there that puts a defense in a stress. Marcus Mariota on the run. You don't know whether he's going to take it downfield or throw the footballs we just saw there. And boy, was he accurate with that one. You know, the Oregon coaches offered him a scholarship without ever seeing him start a game because they saw him in camp. They saw plays like that. Offered it. He didn't start very much in high school, but he started a lot once he got to Oregon. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. They'll come out in the pistol. That was second down one for Murray. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first level run, and it was stopped by a second level player. Another pistol look here. Now Mariota. And he'll just throw this one over in the way of the security crew. Incomplete here. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, 
This feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. A look at the offense now here coming back out on the road for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get out of you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, Let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, we got, the yeah. we, got the we, got the we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut him down. Let's see if the offense gets done. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It's a loss of two, now third down. And now they're in the hurry up. That play never got off the ground because of the defensive front. They owned the offensive line, which allowed the linebackers to see their openings and run straight to the ball. That's why that... looking to throw on third and two. And he finds Cook. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. Now a first down carry, it's Lacey. And he's gonna bowl his way forward to the 48. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you stop the clock, and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding the clock. But sometimes you just have to take things into your own hands, don't you? I mean, the offense is really struggling in this game. They're the ones keeping things going. They have to continue to play at that level. They come out here in the eye. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave them with some options here on fourth and inches. Well, big man with ball met bigger man on the other side of the line. A really nice play for the defense. And the move from Mike McCarthy is going to be to keep the offense on the field here on fourth down. They're going for it. They come out with one back and three tight ends. It'll be a three-yard gain, and they're able to convert here on fourth and inches. So a moment to catch our collective breath after the fourth down conversion. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Nashville. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. So it'll be first down here after the run. Now Rodgers will hand to Lacey. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. This is Cobb with a catch right side. Touchdown, Packers! 
Randall Cobb, 45 yards. And the Packers add six to their lead. Now he's tough to contain as it is, but in man coverage with a pretty deep pass downfield, really tough to contain. And it's so difficult because every play, you've got to consider he might try and run past you. So your goal as a defensive back is to give him plenty of cushion, meaning lots of space between you and him. If he wants to catch the short stuff, come up and secure the tackle, hit him a bunch during the game, and try and keep him in front. But if you turn your head for a second, if your concentration wanes, bye bye. he just takes off and goes. And I think that's what we just saw there. So here we go. The Packers will line up to go for two. They'll try the sneak, and he is going to be stopped short of the goal line. Oh, they'll mark him inside the one. He just couldn't keep churning those extra few inches, and the two-point attempt is turned aside. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This is taken near the 13. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their <laughs> offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. <laughs> Big time. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. And they're going to speed things up here. A good start there on this fourth quarter drive. They need more of what we just saw. Down a couple of scores. There's still time. All right. It's not like the, you know, they're totally out of it, but they have to score quickly, and they're going to need some big time plays, chunk plays, explosive plays. They need yardage on each snap. First down, Mariota. Rashard Matthews here on the catch. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. And now a timeout coming from the defensive side for the Packers. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Mariota now to throw on first down. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's brought down. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll throw again. Mariota. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Rashard Matthews from eight yards out. And the Titans have made this a one-score game. So they get the score still down. The bottom line is they kept themselves in the game. They did keep hope alive, Brandon. That's exactly what they did. Now they've got to deliver and finish things off. And the lead is down to two. Now it's Ryan Suckup on after the touchdown to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right, to be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. The big man, Jarrell Casey, in on the stop. And the offense moving quickly to the line.
Now Rodgers throwing on second down. Caught by Cobb. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. And in this situation with a lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Rodgers to throw on second down. Over the middle, it's Jared Cook. And he's brought down. And the Titans going to signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So the offense has it first and 10. Now a 10th carry here for Lacey. And there's a flag on the field. And he's going to take it down to about the 35 here. Holding offense. backs up the offense here on first down. Now 20 yards to go. One back is Lacey. And they're going to go soft on the corners. Rogers throwing here. Out to the flat for Lacey. Now another timeout here called by the Titans. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. Now Rodgers. This is Cobb with a catch right side. They'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Now, hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And here comes play number six on this drive. Rodgers to throw. And complete right side to Cook. Give him seven on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. They got the completion, but they didn't get the first down. So you got to think if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're pretty happy with what you just accomplished there. Yeah, guy, like you said, got him out of bounds, stopped the clock, kept him short of the marker. Here's Tim Maste now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Yeah. 
And this one's high, but not very far. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. And it'll be Titan football. Marcus Mariota and the offense heading back out for their next possession. And after a rough start, as we take a peek at the numbers, he's going in the right direction now. So often when you see a game start the way we saw this one start for him, you just wonder if he's got a chance to bring it back at all. And that's exactly what he's done. Love seeing that happen simply because you know a guy has struggled and now he's found a way to make things better. That's pretty good stuff right there. It's a gain of 17 that time. And the Titans are going to have a first. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. False start there. That will set the offense back five yards. Brandon, the lineman, certainly flinched there before the snap. A good call. Penalty on first down, backs him up five. It's now first down at 15. He's back to throw. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's taken down, but not before getting this across midfield and just shy of the 40. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Back to throw. And Walker with it over the middle. And he's brought down. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Back to throw. Green Beckham has it over the middle. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. time of the 17. It's a gain of five, and that'll make this a second down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. He'll look to throw, eluding the pressure right. And complete to the tight end walker right side. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll bring up a third and one. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Yeah, that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. I will have to check the flag, but I think this one's going to stand. Extra point try now for Suckup. And the lead is up to five. Ryan suck up on after the touchdown to kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. One receiver left, three to the right. 
Back to throw. Rodgers. He's going to let it fly. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Denoris Searcy. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill, trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw. And it'll wind up being intercepted. He's going to float this one deep right side. And it's incomplete. And still throwing to the very end. But now this game is over. And just a heck of a final drive that you and I just got to witness. We got to see calm, cool, and collected in action, didn't we? That allowed them to go down the field and score the game-winning points. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaughton. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Titans are winners here as we say so long from Nashville.